Welcome back to competition time. Let's do this. So what's this competition all about? Well, it's a chance for you to win this carry bag with either five flat peak premium Yapon caps, nice snap back there, five of those or five of these flex fit fitted Yapon caps with your design that you can send through and it gets voted for on YouTube. Simple, all you gotta do is send your entry to the link in the description below and I get to see it and show it on this channel where everybody can vote for it. So, quick shout out to Chris who sent through his logo and he's through to the finals in a few weeks time. I'm not too sure when, but I'm sure I'm telling you right now on this channel somewhere over here. I really need to learn my dates. Anyway, so, and just a quick bump to Charles B-Man. If you could just send through your design again, it didn't seem to come through, but I'll enter into next week's showdown. So, on with today's five entries. Thank you all for sending them through. It's really been great to see the interaction that's happening. Loving it. Anyway, so, on with randomly picked entry number one. We have got Mayhem Movements. Now, I'm not too sure what this is about. I'm pretty sure it's probably a clothing brand, but that is entry number one, Mayhem Movement. So this is just gonna be a classic embroidery, which will work really well. There's nothing ready to adjust here. It'll work absolutely fine, just as your normal classic. It's a slightly, I think it's like a creamy color print, so it's kind of um, vintage looking. So it's actually really, really good. I'm really liking that. Just, uh, I love the clean and simple logos. They're really, really good. Anyway, so this is entry number one. Let's see what entry number two is. Yeah. Pew! Bone shaker. This is a bone shaker, two wheels, one ride. Get out, go ride, ride in peace. This is entry number two. So basically what we'll do with this one is you can see where it says bone shaker, get out, go ride and ride in peace. Those three little bits there, we will just make them a little bit bigger because in embroidery, you just want the letters to be a little bit bigger. You just don't want them to sink in the fabric or get too blotchy when you actually embroider them out with thread. You gotta remember it's a needle and thread and you want it to be as clear as possible. So I would just recommend that we make those little bits there a tiny bit bigger, but this, is entry number two. It's actually really cool. I like the wings effect. We can do them nicely. Here's some satin stitches, pull them out, and it really look cool. Maybe add like a little bit of a border around the, the yellow bit. But this will work really, really well. Nice and big on the cap. This is entry number two. Bone shaker. Okay, so this is the entry number three. You tell me what you see. It's one of those ones again that's either this way or either that way. Still looks really cool. I just don't know which way it is anyway. So this one here is a entry number three. It is what I see as a Q or a D. Now basically the red part, that's gonna be the 3D part and it's gonna have a black outline and then a white outline. Now the only thing I'm recommending for this one is that we take that black line, we make it a little bit thicker and same with the white line, we make it a little, little bit thicker too. Just because what happens with embroidery, you sometimes get a little bit of shift and you want those lines to be a little bit thicker so it still gives you that nice clean, clean look. But that'll look really, really well with that red popping out. It's just one of those really like classic designs. This is entry number three. Hmm. Ooh, entry number four is this one, Lucky Ink Studio. Now, I'm not too sure if this is a fellow print shop or a tattoo shop, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's got bones in it. <laughs> so basically, the text is absolutely fine. The graphic with the hand and the, um, the bones, it's got a little bit of gray on, so we can probably put a little bit in there. You're gonna lose some of the detail in this because it's a very detailed hand. What I always like to do, I'm trying to make things as simple as possible for embroidery, just so it really stands out well. So what we'll do, you'll probably be able to run little bits of black and as I said, you're gonna be losing a little bit of detail in it, um, but we're definitely gonna have to put the white down first and then run that black over the top to try and create some of that shading effect. But that is entry number four. Lucky Ink Studio. Let me know if you're a screen printer or a tattoo studio. Not that I've got any tattoos, but anyway, let me know. I am scared of needles. So anyway, on to number five in the final entry for this week, which is Legends Clothing. Legends since 19. So this is a, a new brand that's obviously just come out. I can see exactly how we're gonna embroider this. We can just give us a little bit of movement other than just having a fat, a fat, 
a flat block of uh, just stitches. We can break those wings down into some cool satin stitches. Just give it that, as I said, a little bit of movement to so not just make it just that like a flat embroidery just to give it some dimension is the word I'm looking for. Um, your text at the bottom here, the legends since 19, that is probably just on that mark of safeness. So that'll work well. Nice big embroidery, work really well on the, I think you wanted this on flappy caps, so that'll actually work. Ah, yes, flappy caps, which is sort of this style here. That'll work really well on that. So that is entry number five for this week. And that's the final one. Okay, so to wrap it up for this week, thanks to everybody who's entered from all over the world this week and last week, and congratulations to Chris for getting his design through into the finals. This is the last week for entries, so the last day to enter is Thursday, to, so make sure to get your design in because the next week after that, we're going to the finals with everybody who's got their designs into the finals. So make sure you get your entries in. So you can win five of these classic snapback caps, of really nice snapback caps, or five of these baseball caps, obviously with your logo on it, and then this carry bag to keep them nice and safe. So if you want to keep up to date with what's going on on our social media, make sure to follow us on the links below. It'll be great for you guys to join the party, and I shall catch you on the next one. Enjoy your weekend. I'm out of here.